Okay, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a very exciting video. I'm honestly so excited for this. First of all, <laughs> let me just say before I actually like talk or anything, there are builders building our deck right now. And this is the only time I have to film this video and I really wanna film it today. So if there are like a, a few bangs and like you can kind of hear people talking, I'm so sorry. Cause I know that's annoying, but I, I just don't know what to do. I swear they haven't come all week. And then the one day I wanna film is the one day that they decide that they need to work. Um, which is just my luck, but anyway. So, today I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be swatching all of the pink eyeshadow that I own from palettes and then also in singles. I don't have that many singles, so I'm just gonna include the ones I have. And I, I know that Butte Bean has done an entire series on this, and I like binge watched that. And then I went to see like, oh, I because I love watching people swatch eyeshadow, I find it so relaxing and so I was like, I just want to binge all of these videos. But then I couldn't really find that many others. I know that some people have done like smatterings of it, like with other colors, but I haven't found other people that have done like an entire series on it. And I just thought like, I just want to do it. I think I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing this. If I look, if I'm looking over there, it's because there, there's a small sliver of window that I think they can see me. <laughs> so I'm like watching to see if like someone's face pops up in the window um all around not an ideal situation but i've gotten out all of my palettes so it's like fucking it's happening now or never and so i wanted to do i want to do this in the color of the rainbow like i i really want to do this as an entire series and i wanted to start with red but then i was like well where does pink fit in because i have to include pink and i was like it's kind of like the lighter version of red so we're gonna start with pink. So let's just get into it because I think that pink is probably the color that I have the most of. It's my favorite color of eyeshadow to wear. I'm wearing all pink today. I'm wearing the only pink shirt that I own. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch like on my forearms live and then every time I like go down a forearm and then wipe it off, I'm going to do an up close like just little shot of all the eyeshadows kind of swatched more nicely because I know that they're going to not be swatched so beautifully when I do them live. And hopefully, ideally in the order that I'm going to swatch them in because I don't know, I think it's nice to see them also like up close and swatched prettily. So I'm going to do them um, as best I can by brand and there's really otherwise gonna be no particular order. If I mess something up, I'm really, I'm sorry, but <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so I'm just gonna just start pulling palettes because we've got actually a lot of eyeshadow to get through. First palette is ABH Subculture. This doesn't have that many pinks in it, but I'm going to swatch the shade Cube right here. And is that the only one? And then also the shade Roxy um, because it's more of a peach, but it I think it... It pulls more pink than it does anything else. Or I guess this could be more orange. Whatever, we're just gonna swatch it. So Cube, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, Cube has hella hard pan and it's not really swatching that great. So I don't even, can you even see that? No, wow, nothing came out. So I wipe, I scraped off the top layer. There you go, maybe you can see it a bit better. It's not that bright. And then we have Roxy. And now we have Modern Renaissance, which obviously has quite a few pinks in here. So I'm gonna swatch the shade Vermeer. And I'm gonna swatch the shade Love Letter. And the shade Venetian Red. Because even though it says it's a red, it really pulls to me more of a pink. So this is the shade Vermeer. And then we have Love Letter and Venetian Red, which I guess when you actually swatch it out does look more of a red. But I feel like when you put it on the eyes, it looks so much more pink. Anyway, maybe I'll swatch that when I do red eventually too. 
Then we have ABH Riviera. So I think the pink shades that I'm going to swatch from here, I'm going to swatch the shade Estate, which maybe is more of a peach, but it kind of looks like a light pink to me. The shade Palermo, which is like a metallic pink. The shade Bahamas, which is like a bright neon pink. So we have Estate. What is this one? Palermo and Bahamas. Bahamas is such a bright, bright pink. And then I'm also going to swatch the shade Monte Carlo. I'm also sorry if the lighting isn't the best in this video because because they're building outside I have to close the blinds totally and so I can't like have the blinds open. So it's kind of dark and then my ring light's just blasting me in the face, but oh well. So that is the swatches so far. Then we have Soft Glam, which doesn't have a ton of pink shades in it. I guess the shade Dusty Rose is pretty pink. And then the shade Rose Pink. The shade Mulberry looks a little bit more like red to me. And we'll swatch this the shade Sultry as well, even though it might not be, maybe it's more of a bronze. So we have Dusty Rose here. And then Rose Pink and Sultry. Yeah, Sultry maybe looks more of a bronze. It's so, this really sh also sh indicates to me like how much shades, the color of um, shades can be altered so much just by like having them in the pan or whatever like the background is on them because Sometimes they look really pink to me, and then when you actually swatch them, it's not really so pink. It's, I guess, kind of like a bronzy pink. And then last for ABH, we have the good old Jackie Ina palette. So from here, I think we mostly just have Supreme and Pinker as well. So here is Supreme, such a beautiful light pink shade, and then Pinker which is kind of like perfectly in between a pink and a purple, but I think because of the shade name, I'm gonna include it uh, in the pink video. And so those are all the ABH shadows. All right, and let's move on. Um, now maybe I'll do ColourPop because that's what's right in front of me. So I think the obvious, <laughs> One is the Ooh La La palette, and I'm basically going to swatch all of the shades in here except for the shade Moonstruck because that's obviously a gold. First we have the shade Tickled, then the shade Softcore, and the shade Poodle. So we have Tickled, which is, can you see that? Yes. Tickled, which is a light pink. It's really, really beautiful. It has like a blue shift to it almost. Then we have Softcore and poodle and this palette is what is on my eyes today not the best swatch but really beautiful and then we have the shade big sugar opulent and sandbar sandbar is what i have in the majority of my crease so that's big sugar opulent and sandbar which very much reminds me, like I feel like all of these bright fluorescent pink shades all are almost identical in my collection. And then we have the shade Trove and the shade Caddy. Even though Caddy to me is very much a purple, I'll probably swatch that in my purple video as well, but I guess because it's in the pink palette, I'll swatch it so we can compare. Yeah, see, especially when you swatch it against all the pink shades, that comes off very purple. Then we have the uh, Yes Please palette, and hmm, the there's a lot of like in between shades, like in between like kind of peach, pink, orange. But I'm going to swatch the shade. I think this is called Champs. I'm also going to swatch the shade Bling because this kind of looks like a little bit yeah, it's like rosy. And I'm also going to swatch the shade. Spoiled. I think it's called spoiled. I'm almost positive. It's like a all like in between a red and a pink. So there we go in the order that I 
said them. Yeah, see that looks pretty peach. And then we have the shade Bling, I believe, which has a little bit maybe more like red bronze to it. And then I think the shade Spoiled. That's more of like a red tone to like warmer pink. Then we have the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, the Zodiac palette. In here, I think I'm going to swatch two shades. I'm going to swatch the Cancer, which is like a light shimmery pink, and then the Libra, which is like a light dusty pink. So we have the Cancer right there. Again, a little bit more peach, and then the Libra which yeah, is more like a rosy tone. And then we have Dream Street, again, ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. So I think the main ones that I wanna swatch, let me just see. I think this is called Twinkle up here. It's like a rose gold almost. And then the shade Spark, which is like a pinky coral shade. And then maybe I'll swatch the shade Moony, although it seems it's kind of like a pink tone champagne. So there we go in the order that I swatched them. Can't really remember what the shade names are. I think this is Spark. That's so be beautiful. And then we have the shade Moony, which again kind of looks like more of a peach, but hey. And so that is the second of my forearms full of ColourPop pinks that I own. Okay, so now let's maybe move into Colored Rain because I know that there are, I have a lot of pink shades in these palettes. So Juicy Boost, we know that there are lots of pinks in here. I just did a video on this. So I'm going to take the shade Sweet Ruby, which is like a flaky metallic shade, the shade Pink Grapefruit, the shade Cranberry Vanilla. Okay, so we have Sweet Ruby. Such a beautiful pink with like a gold shift to it. Pink grapefruit, which is a light pink. Maybe I'll build that up a little bit. And then cranberry vanilla, which is like a warm toned, warm toned matte pink. Now we have the shade berry beet and the shade watermelon detox, which is another super bright pink. The shade apple strawberry is more of a red, so I think I'm gonna save it for the red video. So we have Berry Beet, which is almost like a slightly purpley toned like berry pink. And then the shade Watermelon Detox, which is a bright, bright pink. And then we have the Color Brain in Power palette. And this is mostly purples, but the shade Revenge in the middle here looks like more of a rose goldy pink shade. So this is the shade Revenge. Yeah, see, that's more of a rose gold, but it definitely is like a gold with a pink, like pink uh, tone to it. Now, maybe Dominique Cosmetics. So this is the Berries and Cream palette. Um, there's not a ton of pinks in here. Again, this more leans like burgundy purpley, but the shade Sweet Cream is like a light, light baby pink. And the shade Sugar Cookie is a light metallic pink. And then the shade Soft and Sweet also kind of looks like a light pink shade. So we have the shade Sweet Cream, which is almost a white, but it does have like a pink tone to it. The shade Sugar Cookie, again, just like a light baby metallic pink. And the shade Soft and Sweet, which is, yeah, like a light rosy, dusty, dusty pink. And then from the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette, there's one pink in here, which is the shade Wildflower. It's a matte, like, light pink shade. Really pretty. And now, some of you may be shocked if you've watched my channel before that I have these palettes. I will do a video on them, but I had a moment of weakness when there was a sale, and I do have the Lime Crime Venus palettes. I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about them, but for now, I'll just swatch them the pink shades in here. So I'll swatch the shade Shell and the shade Rebirth. I think everything else is more red toned, like red toned burgundy. So this is the shade Shell, which is almost like a more of a peach. And then the shade Rebirth, which is like, again, like a pinky coral. 
from the Lime Crime Venus 3. I do have all three. There, This is mostly, mostly purples, but the shades Rapture and the shade Bliss are more pink. So we have Rapture, which is like a light pink with a glitter in it. And then what is this? Bliss. All right, so that is another forearm done. Okay, so now maybe let's move into some of my Morphe palettes. So Morphe and Jaclyn Hill OG palette. Let's see, I don't have the shade names like on here, so I'm just gonna show them to you so there's this these three like light pinks on this top row here so oops there's a little bit of sparkle on my arm but that's okay so this is in the order there's that i swatched them there's this lighter one this is a pink with like a gold to it and then this is more of like a deeper like more rosy toned pink really pretty I really do like the metallics in this palette. And then I have the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 palette, which is a story in and of itself, but there are a ton of pink shades in here. So we have the shade I'm In It, which is like a light iridescent pink, the shade Love Handles, which is maybe more of a peach, but we're gonna include it. And then the shade Ride or Diamonds, I guess. This is a metallic and it's like rose gold but it's kind of pinky toned so we have the shade shades I'm in it I don't think any of these types of like iridescent pink shades are going to show up on camera and then the shade love handles which again looks almost more orange and the shade ride or diamonds again not super pink but there's like a pink tone to it for sure okay so moving on most of these are more like coral shades then we have the shades hard on this one next to it is more of a red. And then the shades Lolly Mama and Tipsy Girl. Those are definitely pinks. I do really like this palette, I'm not gonna lie to you. Even though I don't really love Morphe. So that is, what is that one? So that's Heart On, that's a really pretty shade. Then we have the shade Lolly Mama and Tipsy Girl. So my camera just caught me off, so if I'm a little bit different, that's why, but we're just gonna get back into swatching this palette. So I just left off with this. The next shade I'm going to swatch is the shade Dance Party. And then I think that's mostly it, but actually after looking back at this palette, I think there are some pink tone shades that I missed. So I am going to swatch the shade Perfectionist up here and the shade Thick Skin. They look, they're kind of just like really in between shades. So this is the shade Dance Party, which is like a really beautiful deep pink. And then this is the shade Perfectionist, which again looks more like a peach, but it does look pretty pink in the pan. And then the shade Thick Skin, same deal. And then I'm going to take the shades Bougie and Drama Queen, which are like kind of rose gold shades that lean more pink. So that's the shade Bougie right there and the shade Drama Queen. More like really sparkly shades. You definitely have to build them up. They are really pretty, but they're not like necessarily traditional like metallic shades. And then <laughs> we have the James Charles palette. So this is a fucking behemoth. So I'm gonna swatch this light pink shade up here. This, I can't decide what it is. I'm going to include it in this. And then I'm also going to swatch this, which is again like more of like a coral shade, but we're going to include it in this video. So here we have the light shimmery pink shade. The shade that I can't decide what it is, but it looks pretty rosy toned. And then the coral shade. So there's this light pink shade here, and then this really bright fluorescent pink shade here. Where am I gonna put those? Maybe I'll put those on my hand. So there's this matte light pink, which you can barely see. And then right underneath that, I'm gonna put this bright pink. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's move on to some of my Juvia's Place palettes. So let's start off with the Saharan. I really can't decide whether or not this is a pink. I'm, I'm going to, I think, include this in the orange one, but we have the shade Zoya. And we also have the shade Lulu and the shade Fula. These are some of like the most beautiful pinks. So the shade Zoya, which is almost like a rose gold. And then we have the shade Lulu, which is like a deeper rosier pink. And then the shade Fula, which is a more cool toned metallic pink, really pretty. Okay, and so next we have the Nubian. This isn't riddled with pinks, but there are a few. So this one up here is like kind of a peachy pink shade. And then this is more of like a rose gold shade. This is, okay, I'll swatch this too. It's like kind of a champagne, but I feel like there is like a pink tone to it. So this is the first shade. Yeah, that's like a peachy, peachy pink shade. Then the second shade I swatched, which is like a rose gold. And then this is like a champagne with a pink tone to it. Really pretty. Then we have the Magic Mini. So there are, I think, yeah, three shades. So I'm gonna swatch the shade Osun, which is this light pink up here, the shade Kogi or Koji, and the shade Zuba. So we have Osun, which is a light, light metallic pink, the shade Kogi, which is like a matte coral shade, and then the shade Zuba, which is a deeper metallic pink with like a gold shift to it. Then we have the Masquerade palette, and I think there's, yeah, there's just one pink shade in here, which is the shade uh, Bori. It has, like, some pink glitter in it, but it's mostly, I use this as a matte when I use this palette, like a bright fluorescent pink. Then we have the Festival palette, and they, this shade I debated, but I think that I'm going to include that in the orange video, so there's just the shade Eerie G which is just uh, another like bright mid-toned pink. Similar to the Bori shade, but not quite as like neon. Then we have the Zulu palette. Am I filming still? Yes. So we have this rose gold shade and then this matte pink shade. So we have the rose gold shade and then the pink shade. This is one of my favorite pinks in my collection and it's, you can see that it's more warm toned compared to these other ones that are a bit more cool. Then we have the Deuce <laughs> palette and there are a few pinks in here. The shade Tarte is like a light duochrome pink. Then we have the shade Creme which is a light pink and the shade Puffs which is another light metallic pink. So that's the shade Tarte, we have the shade Creme, and the shade Puffs. So pretty. So that is one row, one another forearm full of pink swatches. Moving on to the next forearm, then we have the Warrior 3 palette. And there's just one pink shade in here. It's the shade Fanti. This is like a light. Hmm, that didn't swatch the best. I just swatched a little sheer. I haven't actually used this palette on my eyes yet. And then we have the Warrior 2, and I think the only pink shade in here is the shade Dora. And this is like kind of a peach, kind of a pink. Maybe it's an orange, but I feel like it falls more in the pink category. It's like a peachy pink coral shade. All right, so maybe let's move on to Makeup Addiction Cosmetics now. I just have a few shadows. So this is the Meadow palette and the only pink shade and here is the shade right in the middle. It's called Pink Blossom. I thought that the later one was a pink, but I think it's more of a true champagne. So that's the shade Pink Blossom, or a really beautiful, just like mid-tone shimmery pink. Then I also have the Holy Glow Fantasy palette, and there is 
this pink shade in here which is called Unicorn Glow. And this is a pink with a blue shift to it. Then we have the Pure and Raw Beauty Christy palette and there are two pink shades in here. I believe there is the shade Side Effect and the shade uh, Cafe Disco, which is like a light uh, shimmery pink. So this is the shade Side Effect, another like really bright fluorescent pink. Then the shade Cafe Disco, which is like a light metallic shimmery pink. With the other side, there are some pinks in here as well. There's the shade It, it Just Does, which is more of like a corally pink. And then the shade Moo Point, which maybe is more of a purple, but it feels like kind of a rose tone. So this is the shade It Just Does, again, kind of like a coral. And then the shade Moo Point, which is like a dusty rose shade. And maybe we'll do some Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity. There are a ton of pink shades in here. This leans more purple to me, but there is the shades, let's see. I feel like the two most pink shades in here are um, Cosmic, which is this like toppery shade. And then also obviously the shade Venusian Orchid, which is like that matte light light pink shade. So we have Cosmic, which is like a pink with a gold shift to it. So pretty. And then Venusian Orchid, which is a matte rose color. So nice. And then I have the NYX Ultimate Shallow pa Palette. This is the Phoenix Edition. There's not really a ton of pinks in here, but this shade down here to me looks like kind of like a rose gold uh, pink toned shadow. And then I guess we'll just go into another random palette. This is the Makeup Forever Nine Artist Shallow Palette in the, sh I think it's the version three. The only pink one in here is like this, this little pink guy um, in the middle. I don't love this palette, but this shade is really pretty. Again, it's like a rosy shade, like a rose gold shade. And that is another forearm random smattering of pinks. All right, we're back again with some fresh, clean forearms. Now let's go into some of my Makeup Revolution shadows. So we have the um, Roxasaurus Ride or Die palette. So there are a few pink shades in here. There's the shade Firework, which is again, another like corally shade. The shade Ariel and the shade Sunset. So we have the shade Firework the shade, which looks more like a peach, but oh well, the shade Ariel, which is like a light, warm toned pink, and the shade Sunset. This palette is not swatching well. And then we have the shade Inspire, which is like kind of in between a purple and a pink, but it's almost like a purple toned pink. There we go. Then we have the Reloaded Iconic Vitality palette, which is a, an obvious dupe of uh, Modern Renaissance. <laughs> so the pinks in here, uh, this one, this one, and this one at the top, which I just missed. So basically the equivalents of all the shades that I swatched in Modern Renaissance. So we have that mid-toned pink, the pink that looks <laughs> more red and then the light shimmery pink. Then we have the Reloaded Visionary palette which is the pink and purple one and I think there is just, yeah, there's pretty much just this light metallic pink which actually is really beautiful. It's right here. It's actually really reflective and pretty. Then we have the Reloaded Neutrals 3, and I guess the only two pink shades in here are like this peachy one at the top, and then this one that's more of like a warm toned pink. So we have the peachy one, oh that didn't swatch very well, and then 
the other metallic pink, which again kind of looks more orangey red, but say la vie. Then we have the Reloaded Neutrals 2. And the pink shades in here, let's see. So there's this light peachy one. There's this other peachy one. There's a lot of peaches in here. And then this other one at the top. I might have to switch arms halfway through this palette. So there's the first peachy one, the second peachy one, and the third like pink, pink shade. Definitely all lean peachy. All right, and then we have this shade up here. Let's see, this metallic pink and this metallic pink. So there's the first shade and then one metallic pink and another metallic pink right on my elbow. There you go. There's the f another <laughs> forearm of Makeup Revolution pinks. All right, and halfway through this palette, let's switch over. Then let's swatch, I guess, this one, and we'll do this peachy one and this corally one. So we have the light metallic pink. Then we have the peachy, peachy matte, and then the like lighter coral shade. Then we have iconic, reloaded iconic fever, and I think the only one that I'm gonna swatch from this palette is this shade right here. Again, more of like a rose gold. Rose gold shade, definitely has a rose tone to it though. And then we have Reloaded Iconic Division. So again, this is a dupe of subculture. So we're gonna swatch the equivalent shades. This, there's this like iridescent pink and then the like peachy shade. This one. <laughs> does not swatch well either you can barely see that and then there is the peachy shade all right so let's do some huda beauty now so we have the desert dusk palette let's see there are a few pink shades in here although a lot lean more like orangey red i think so this is the shade eden it's like a peachy shade we have the shade let's see let's see uh angelic which is one of my favorite shades in the palette and then the shade saffron and i think those are like all of the like pinky toned shades yeah so we have the shade eden which is like a light peachy shade the shade angelic a metallic pink with a gold to it and then the shade saffron which is like a warm toned pink matte and then I also have one of these little um, like obsessions palettes. This is the Coral Obsession. A lot of these lean, definitely lean more like orange coral, but I think this one in the middle top uh, is definitely more of a pink. And maybe we'll do this one at the bottom as well because I've been swatching a lot of shades like that. So this is the one at the top. And then the one at the bottom it kind of got mixed with some of the follow-up, but that's okay. And that is another forearm done. So now let's get into some of my Urban Decay palettes. We have the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette, and there are two shades, I think. So there's the shade here, which is the shade uh, Baby. It's like a light pink shade. And then this shade, Harajuku, is like a light uh, shimmery pink. So we have the shade Baby, which is a very like light rose goldy shade. And then the shade Harajuku. I do not like this pink really at all. It's very dusty and very light, lightly pigmented. Then we have the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay. Again, not a ton of pinks in here, but I am going to swatch the shade Still Shot, which is a peachy shade. And is that it? Yeah, I think everything else leans pretty much purple, so that's all we're going to swatch from here. The shade Still Shot, which is a peach. And then we have the Naked 3. <laughs> which obviously has a lot of pink shades in it. 
I guess we'll swatch the shade Strange, which is like a light off white pink. Um, the shade Dust and the shade Burnout. So we have the shade Strange, a very light pink. The shade right. Dust. So this is going to be a long one because my camera keeps cutting me off. But anyway, so I don't think I got the shade Burnout swatched on camera, but that's it right there. So now we're going to keep going. This is the shade Limit. The shade, uh, what is this? Buzz? And I guess I'll swatch this shade Trick too because it's a rose gold. I guess it's like kind of pinky, but I think it's more of a bronze. So this is the shade Limit. A light rose matte. The shade Buzz. And the shade Trick. <sighs> then we have the shade Nooner. And the shade Liar. And honestly, I think all of these other ones lean more bronze or like gray. So I'm going to save those for a different video. But this is the shade Nooner, which almost looks more purple now that I'm swatching it out. And then the shade Liar, I believe. And so now we're basically moving into some of like the more random pink shades from random palettes. So this is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte uh, Summer Breeze palette. So there are two pink shades in here. There's this like peachy one and then this pink one right here. There's the peach. And there's the like mid-toned pink. Right, then I have this little Smashbox palette. This is the Covershot Nova palette. And this is mostly purple, but there is one light pink right here. This little baby palette. This light matte pink. And then we have <laughs> Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And there is this one light baby pink here which is I'm sure going to be super chalky, but here we go, where is, yep, <laughs> you can barely see that, and I actually guess there is this one like light pink shimmery shade as well, there you go, again, you can barely see that. And then last palette of the bunch, I have the Tartist, uh, Tarte Tartist Pro palette. This is like basically white, but it's kind of pinky toned. And then we have, uh, that's called Vintage. And then we have the shades uh, Chic, which is a light pink, and then the shade Mod. And I think everything else is more like purple in this palette. So that is the shade Chic. Sorry, I messed up the fingers. Then we have the shade Vintage. And then the shade Mod. Oops. It's a little bit of contamination from the white. Lady pink shade. There you go. So those are all the palettes. So I'm gonna do close-up swatches of these and then we'll move into some of my singles. All right, so now let's move on to some of my singles. So I have my MAC singles here. Uh, I don't have a ton of pinks, but let's see. I will include this, which is expensive pink, and then this, which is cranberry. So this is expensive pink up here, and then this is cranberry which I guess I could include that in the red, but it feels more right to include it in the pink category. All right, so now let's get into some of my Luxie shadows. So this is Luxie Cookie Dough. It is a light blue toned metallic, like shimmery pink. It's so pretty. Then we have the shade Walk of Shame, which is a light, one of those, again, like iridescent, pink shades, which I feel like are kind of hard to see on camera. And then there is Tesla, which is a light 
uh, pink with a blue shift to it. Really pretty. And then I have Luxie Baby Girl, which is more of like a rose gold shade. Really pretty as well. I love all of my Luxie singles. And then I have some mattes. So this is Luxie Dreamy. It's like a light rose matte. And then Sultry, which is basically the same tone as Dreamy. It's just a little bit deeper. Right there. And then last for my Luxie singles, I have the shade Heartthrob, which is a deeper um, matte pink. It's so beautiful. This is one of my favorite shadows in my collection. Ooh, so pretty. And then I have two JD Glow shadows. So the first is the shade AKA, and this is what I'm wearing on my lids today. It's such a beautiful pink with like a gold flip to it. It's, oh, I just love Judy Glow Shadow so much. And I also have the shade Opal, which is a light, light pink with like a blue shift to it. I've done a whole video just swatching my Judy Glow Shadows, so if you want to check that out as well to get more close-ups of these okay and so then i have one more um shadow that's technically not an eyeshadow but i use it more as an eyeshadow than anything else and it is from the makeup addiction cosmetics holy glow volume 2 palette it's the highlighter in the shade pink flamingo it's like a light again iridescent pink but i think it's really pretty and again i use it more as an eyeshadow than anything else so nice. And then I guess why not? Let's also swatch the shade Pink Champagne too because I use this as an eyeshadow as well. And I basically treat them as single shadows. So there you go. Those are all my pink single shadows. All right, everyone. That concludes this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and swatching some, some shadows. I feel like I've been talking forever because I have. This is probably going to be a longer one, but I'm not even going to apologize for that because I just love watching people swatch shadows and I hope that you enjoyed your time here today. This is something that I do like alone in my by my own self. I just like swatch all my eyeshadows. I find it so therapeutic and it's also nice to know the shadows that you have in your collection and swatch them it reminds you of all the shit that you have or at least it does for me and yeah it's just fun to like pull your palettes out and see what shades are similar and different and you know all that good good shit so yeah thank you for watching this um let me know if you want to see more videos like this i probably will do it anyway <laughs> no matter what you say because this is just fun for me to film but I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope this is filling a void on the internet that I feel like is missing. So yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna swatch the sheet. I'm gonna go fucking insane. Is that pink? What is this?